Salvete omnes, salvete amici. Nomen mihi est decimus Aurelius Ingeniarius. Uh, welcome, everybody. Hello from wherever you're watching us from in the world, whether that be the United States or anywhere in Europe or Asia, South America, uh, and of course, uh, more locally near me in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, pleasure to be here. We are now doing episode three of our Lingua Latina Per Se Illustrata uh, series where uh, I attempt to learn Latin from, uh, via the Orberg method and, uh, and the book. And if you haven't seen uh, the book before, it's uh, this one here. Uh, so uh, it comes in all forms, ebook, uh, hard copy, and so you can learn along as well. And as a part of this series, uh, we actually use uh, some pronunciation by a, a well-known Latin speaker, Luke Ranieri, assuming I've got the pronunciation right there. Uh, and he has his own YouTube channel called Scorpio Martianus. And uh, we use his videos from there to guide us through the pronunciation of the Latin. So he does like a, essentially an audio book reading uh, of this book. And, uh, and then what we do is we listen to him, we get that feedback, we have a go at practicing the Latin ourselves, and then we try and discern the, uh, the meaning of the Latin words that we are reading. So the unique thing about this book is that it's entirely in Latin for those that haven't come across it before, uh, but it gives you little clues and grammar notes uh, to help you deduce the meaning. It starts off essentially like a kid's Latin book and then slowly progresses by introducing new grammar concepts, new vocabulary, um, and all the new endings of all the various words that are out there. Uh, and it even gives you some questions at the end of the chapters to practice as well to see how you can answer in Latin. It's a, it's a phenomenal construct, and we are certainly enjoying it. So we are now doing Chapter 3, or Capitulum. Uh, so after Capitulum Secundum, I don't know what the word for 3 is. Let's have a look. We're going to do Chapter 3 with Capitulum Tertium. That's right. <laughs> Capitulum Tertium. Um, so please... Uh, uh, for you uh, in chat or if you're watching this on YouTube in the future, uh, please certainly make comments if you pick up on errors and omissions. I'm doing this live, right? So uh, no doubt I could potentially make quite a few errors. And if we're lucky, we'll actually have a few Latin speakers join us in the chat as well who can also provide us some tips, some trivia, and, of course, some uh, live feedback as well. So let's get stuck into Capitulum Tertium and, uh, and go from there. So here's the video uh, from... Scorpio Martianos, head over there and drop a subscribe and a, and a follow on, on uh, Luke's channel and we'll listen to him uh, start off this chapter. Now, we were introduced last week uh, to the uh, family of Julius and his uh, children, Marcus, Quintus and Julia. Uh, I guess it's his wife, Aemilia, and then their slaves, Sira, Delia, Davus and Medus. Uh, so we're going to hear, hear and see some more things about them uh, tonight in this chapter. Here we go. <clears throat> Capitulum tertium, puerim probus. Scaina prima, personae, Julia, Marcus, Quintus. All right, we will pause there straight away and uh, discuss what we've just heard. So we're having puerim probus and scaina prima and personae, Julia, Marcus, and Quintus. And we can see in the margin two notes there, scaina and persona so we've got two new words that it's introducing to us now it looks here uh and you guys can't see it yet because uh, as, but as we scroll down you will it appears that uh it just you know a series of conversations between our i guess our people i guess personae so we're going to see here from julia marcus and quintus and the, it's the first something it looks like scene so it could be could be like a play potentially. Um, so we're going to see potentially a play play out between these three characters. Looks like uh, from the image, Julia is la la uh, so maybe singing or something, making some noise. Marcus doesn't seem overly impressed with that and Quintus is not paying attention or is nearby or something. Uh, so it's starting to set the scene for us, okay? And so we'll continue to look at the clues in the margin. If you spot the clues in the margin before I do... Let me know so we can read through those. So that'll help me uh, provide us some more sense for what we're listening. So, so let's let Luke continue and carry on. Here we go. Julia cantat. La la. Julia laitast. Marcus. St. Marcus laitus non est. Julia cantat. La 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 la. Marcus. St. Marcus iratus est. Julia cantat. 
Okay, let's pause there. Let's go through what we've got. So we have Yulia Kantat. So Yulia is doing something. We don't know what Kantat is. It's a new word for us. So hopefully we'll deduce the meaning as we go through. But she's going, la la, I guess singing. Yulia Leita Est. And again, another new word, Leita. Um, so Yulia is something. And then we have Marcus Ghost. Marcus Leitus Non Est. So uh, Julia is something and Marcus is not something. And then Julia Cantat again uh, here, whatever Cantat is. La, 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 la. So Cantat could potentially mean singing or making noise. Um, uh, not humming, but uh, so Cantat might be, might be singing. Uh, so Julia is singing. La, la, Julia later est. Looks very similar um, to la, la. And then Marcus is obviously not impressed. So this ST words is, I guess, maybe some sort of disgruntlement. Uh, and Marcus is whatever Yulia. Marcus is not whatever Yulia is right now. And then uh, we see Marcus goes, st Marcus Iratus est. And Iratus looks very similar to an English word, uh, which would be uh, kind of like irate, which would perhaps mean angry. And we then see Yulia continue to potentially sing Yulia Cantat, la, 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 la. Now, we've got a clue on the right-hand side there that we uh, should discuss. We have Marcus Yuliam Polsat, and the AM is in italics there at the end, suggesting a type of ending, so something's going on, and this new word, Polsat. And it appears that Marcus here is either slapping or hitting uh, Julia. So that's... That's perhaps what Pulsat is. Marcus is hitting Julia. Uh, and then we have this AM ending <clears throat> suggesting, uh, I guess, the activity occurring to, to Julia there. So we uh, have later. So uh, I guess a new word there describing Julia. And I guess we're not quite sure, but, uh, you know, we could probably could deduce some meaning. So, if, hey, throw in your comments in chat to think what, uh, throw in what you think it might mean. Uh, and whatever Julia is, Marcus is not that. Um, Jul uh, Marcus certainly looks upset or grumpy in the beginning. Um, so that would, I guess, in perhaps imply that Julia is the opposite of that, considering she's later. I don't know, maybe she's happy, joyful or something. And if Marcus is not that, I guess that would make sense. Let's continue on. Let's see what we've got. La, 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 <laughs> la, la. Very funny. Marcus Julian Pulsat. Jan Julia non cantat, sed plorat. Uh -huh. Marcus ridet. All right. So uh, I, I guess we're confirmed that Pulsat means to hit or strike because we heard that, uh, that clap. So Marcus Julian Pulsat. So Marcus has hit Julia. And then it says, Iam Julia non cantat, sed plorat. And then I guess the cries of being hit. So uh, reading through that sentence, Iam Julia non cantat. So Julia is not singing. I think if we're going to go with cantat, is not singing anymore. But uh, plorat. Uh, so plorat is interesting. So on the column on the right hand side, the clues, we have Julia plorat. So plorat here, I guess, relative to the image and what's just happened, it's either that she's now upset or she's crying. Uh, and I guess plorat, I, I'm going to go with probably crying here. Yulia is crying. Marcus ridet, ridet. So Marcus is, I guess, uh, happy. But then uh, what would later mean at the beginning? So ridet and later are slightly different. So we'll have to deduce how Marcus is feeling here. So Marcus read it and he's laughing at that. Um, I don't know how complicated are the uh, concepts of emotion in, in just in chapter three. We will find out. And then Quintus Marcum Widet is a new clue here. So again, uh, kind of like up here we had Marcus Juliam and that uh, ending added to Julia. This uh, M ended here, Widet. So there's an action, a new verb that Quintus is doing to Marcus. And then Marcus Quintum non widet. So some more words here that, uh, so widet here. And then, so Marcus did not 
do something with Quintus, and then Quintus has done something with Marcus. So let's see if we can uh, deduce what's happening. So read it here. I'm getting the concept of um, like some sort of smugness, perhaps, um, uh, I guess, for his actions. So let's uh, let's continue and see what we got. Hi. Quintus Marcum videt. Marcus non videt Quintum. Quintus. Quid Marcus puellam pulsat et ridet. So Quintus Marcum videt. So I looked at the first image, uh, the first image, and Quintus is looking away from Marcus. And now in this image, Quintus is is looking at uh, Marcus there, who's just hit Julia. So um, is it potentially that Quintus with that sounds like video, like an image? So maybe it's Quintus sees Marcus. Marcus does not see Quintus. Maybe Quintus goes quid Marcus puellam polset et read it. So Quintus is saying, what? Marcus has hit, and we know what Puello is, that's a girl. Marcus has hit a girl and read it. Ah, uh, it could be laughed. Uh, so read it, and we did see that line, Marcus read it, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. So it appears that uh, his, Quintus has observed and he said, what? Marcus has hit a girl and laughed. Okay, so I'm pretty happy now that read it is laugh. See how we read on and we can get a better deduction of what the words mean. That's that's really good. So I think read it means laugh. So that means if we go back to later, it probably means like happy. Uh, if cantat is singing, later might be happy or joyful. Therefore, Marcus read it or read it here, that other new word potentially means to laugh. Okay, so what? Marcus has hit a girl and laughed. Okay, so Quintus has seen what's going on. Let's uh, go over the page. Queen to see ratus est it marcum pulsat. Oh, another hit. Non read it, Marcus. Marcus iratus pulsat quintum. Julia. Mm, Ubiest mater. Julia Emilia non vidit. Julia Emilia mocat. Mater! <laughs> Marcus Quintum Pulsat! Okay, we've got to. Let's go through that paragraph here. So, in the clues on the left hand side of the margin, Quintus Marcum Pulsat, so it appears that Marcus has now hit. Sorry, Quintus has now hit Marcus. Uh, we see that ending again. So, I guess uh, the when an activity is occurring to someone, in this case being hit, Quintus is hitting Marcus. So, there's the clue there. And then I guess we're confirmed that mama is equal to mater. So I guess like we have more colloquial terms for mother and father or many other family members for that matter, it appears the same case for Latin. So mama is equal to mater, which we know to be mother. And then at the top of the uh, book there, we have uh, quintus erratus est et marcum pulsat. So quintus is, I think, angry. Quintus is angry and hits Marcus. And uh, that certainly confirms what we're seeing in the image. And then we see that iam word again, uh, iam non ridet Marcus. So here we print it, it says, uh, I, I, want, I would like to say I am, because <laughs> that's what it looks like in English. But uh, So in the first instance we saw iam, it was iam Julia non cantat. So I guess when Julia was originally cantat, it is now no longer cantat. Um, but in this case, she was crying, plorat. So... Maybe iam is kind of like, I guess, is, is no longer. Uh, or uh, it's a word confirming a change of something. So now here we see that Marcus, who was originally laughing, is now no longer laughing. So uh, iam non ridet Marcus. So Marcus is no longer, is no longer laughing. Uh, so that's what I'm deducing iam to be there. I guess the exact translation uh, I'm, I'm not aware of, but uh, we will uh, hopefully find out a little bit more as, as we go on. Maybe some more context. And then we have Marcus Irratus Pulsat Quintum. Marcus is angry and hits Quintus. So Quintus uh, Marcus has returned the favour after Quintus has hit him and Marcus has hit Quintus back. And then Julia says, Ubi est mater, obviously quite upset. Where is mother? 
Julia Emiliam non Widet. So we see an action on Amelia here. And we believe that Widet is, I guess, to see. So Julia does not see Amelia, I guess, which is her mother. I, and then it says Julia Emiliam Wokat. Okay, so it's, uh, I guess because it's like a play, it's telling us what the characters are doing. So Julia is doing something to Amelia. Sorry, Amelia. So Mater Marcus Quintum Polset. So I guess she's Wokat probably calling out, being vocal. Uh, so Mother Marcus hit Quintus. Okay, we see the ending of M on Quintus again there. So the action being performed on Quintus. Right. All right. Lots happening here. Let's go back to Luke. Marcus Iratus st. Marcus Julian Pulsat. Oh boy. Julia Plura Tetai Miliam Mokat. <laughs> Mama! Mama! Right. So, carrying on, we see uh, Marcus is Iratus, so angry, and he goes. And then Marcus Julian Pulsat. So Marcus has hit Julia again. Holy dooly. Uh, and then we have Julia Ploret at Emilian Wokat. Mama, Mama, Marcus me Pulsat. So Julia crying. I think we said Ploret is crying. So Julia is crying and calls for Amelia. Yep, Mama, Mama, and Marcus me Pulsat. So Marcus hit me. Um, and that me is very similar to, I guess, the way we use English me. So that's uh, that's very good. Very good so far. And then we have Amelia Wenit. Uh, so Wenit is a new word. So clues on the left-hand side. We've got Marcus Quintum Polsat. So Marcus has hit Quintus. Julia Emiliam Wokat. So, and we see in the activity that Julia appears to be calling for her mother. So I'm going to go with Wokat is like to call for or to yell out for, and then Amelia Wenit. Now, Amelia is doing something, the mother. Now, judging by the illustration here, is she's about to step in. So maybe Amelia Wenit is like to enter or to, to come in. So Amelia is is coming into the scene. And, okay, having seen Sakaina Secunda, so I think this is kind of like a play, and we're about to hit the second scene here. All right. So Amelia is now entering, ready for the second scene. Let's let's carry on. All right, here we go. Marcus me pulls at. <laughs> Emilia Wenit. Emilia Wenit. Sky na seconda. Personae. Emilia, Julia, Marcus, Quintus. Emilia interrogat. Quis me vocat? Quintus respondit. Julia te vocat. A Emilia quint interrogat. Cur Julia plorat? Quintus respondit. Okay. So again, some more words here. So we have Scaina Secunda, the second scene I think we were agreed on and the personae I guess the people in this scene are Emilia, Julia, Marcus and Quintus first line um, so the activity that Emilia is performing is an interrogat Emilia interrogat quis me vocat so Emilia interrogat looks very similar to the English word interrogate uh, So and I'm judging by the line she's saying it says like asking a question so Emilia is interrogating or asking questions here she says, quis me wokat? And uh, knowing that wokat is like to call for and me, so it's like, um, uh, who is calling for me? Uh, who who called for me? And then quintus respondent. Now, respondent again looks very similar to an English word, and I'm going to say it's like responds or answers. So quintus answers with julia te wokat. So... Julia called, well, I guess because she, I guess it sounds like he's responding to Amelia, so it's like you, so he's responding to Amelia. So Julia called you. And that, that means te here in this context means you. Walkout means to call for again, and I guess making reference to Julia as the subject here. Now, back over to the margin on the left hand side, we have an interrelation, opposites, I guess, interrogat and respondet. So I guess ask questions and answer. So that's good. 
And now we have another new clue here, Kur, and we're going to see that coming up on the next line. Uh, Kur is a, like a question, so it implies a question which is similar to Quia. Now, I think we've come across Quia before, and so we'll confirm that for ourselves shortly. And then we have Iam, which is equal to Yuliam. That's interesting, and I guess we'll see the context for that shortly as well. Okay? So we have Emilia Quintum interrogat. So Emilia is now asking a question of Quintus directly, and I guess there's that activity, you know, action being performed again here, Quintum, the M on the end of Quintus. So Amelia is questioning Quintus, and she says, Cur Iulia plorat. Um, Cur is a new word here. Now, I guess instinctively I want to say, plorat we know to be a hit. Um, no, plorat is cry. So here I want to say, uh, who made Yulia cry? So that's a little bit different from quiz. So it's like, uh, whom? Whom made Yulia cry? Is that Would that be the correct uh, translation there, perhaps? In any way, she's asking about who, who made Yulia cry here. Uh, and Quintus is going to respond, and we'll let Luke go back to us and tell us the pronunciation. Yulia plurat, quia marcus eam pulsat. Emilia. Quid puer parvam puellam pulsat? Fu, cur Marcus Iuliam pulsat. Let's have a look at these two lines. So Quintus is now going to respond it to that question from Emilia, and he's going to say, Iulia plorat quia Marcus Iam pulsat. So Iulia is crying. Uh, quia. So we have... Ah, so maybe here in the margin, it's the question, and this is a part of an answer. So if somebody asks you a cur question, then it's asking for an explanation. And I guess this is what this queer is. It sounded like because Yulia is crying because Marcus hit, and we know Pulsat is to hit or strike, Marcus hit Iam. So this must be her. And again, we see the activity. I guess Ia is like... Oh, well, I guess her, and then I guess the M is the ending being added on to her. So they're showing the activity of the hit occurring to her. In this case, we know her to be Yulia. So in the same way, we will substitute pronouns for, for names when we've established the context. They're doing the same thing in Latin. So Yulia is crying. Quia, I'm going to say, is like because then. Because Marcus hit her. And that certainly makes sense. Now, Amelia goes, quid, what? Puer parum? Parwam puellam polsat fu. Cur Marcus Julian polsat? Ask a question. So Amelia is going to say, What? Uh, parum, a boy hits. Pula is girl. Parum is um, small. So a boy hit a small girl. Yeah, there we go. So. What? A boy hits a small girl. Foo. So obviously some form of disgust, I guess. Foo. Uh, some sort of disgruntled noise there. Cur Marcus Julian Polsat. So uh, here, I guess similar to this first sentence. Um, uh, cur. So either who, who did Marcus, did Marcus hit Julia? Maybe. So does that make sense? So is this like did, potentially? Is Kerr like did? So, but but that doesn't quite make sense here. Did Julia cry? So it's definitely not did. So the question here is implying that Marcus hit Julia. Did, uh, who, Marcus, yeah, interesting here. So I'm not quite sure of the context here and the word Kerr, but we know there's going to be some sort of queer answer potentially. So Quintus is going to answer with... Quia Julia cantat. Maybe it's why. Why is Julia crying? And then that makes sense of the because. Look at us discovering, folks. This is great. And then if we go, why did Marcus hit Julia? And then Quintus is going to respond, Quia Julia cantat. Uh, because Julia was singing, I guess, is the way. As we said, cantat was singing. Yes. All right. Let's continue on. 
quintus. Qui a Iulia cantat? A Emilia. Oh, Iulia, <laughs> mea sympathy. parua filia. Marcus puer probus non est. Marcus est puer improbus. All right. So, clues in the column margin left-hand side, we have improbus and then various endings of a and um, and then that is the opposite of probus, a and um. So Amelia is obviously addressing Yulia here. She goes, oh, Yulia, mia parwa filia. So I guess that's like, oh, Julia, my small daughter. We know filia is daughter and parwa is uh, small and we notice that it is the adjective here and it matches the uh Feminine noun, and I guess we have Mia, which is also matching, so my, representing my here. And then she goes on to say, Marcus puer probus non est, Marcus est puer improbus. So Mark, so I'm going to say some improbus is like a naughty boy. Marcus, uh, so here in the first line, she, however, he's gonna, she's going to say, Marcus is not a good boy. So I'm going to go to the opposite. So Marcus is not a good boy. Marcus is a is a bad boy. <laughs> uh, right. So I think uh, cur is why. That's what I'm going to go with. So cur is why. That makes sense in both those cases. Why did Marcus hit Julia? Why is uh, Julia crying? Um, okay. So this is good. Let's carry on. Quintus. Julia Puella probast. A Emilia Quint interrogat. Ubiest Julius. Cur non venit? A Emilia Julium non videt, respondet Marcus, pater dormit. Quintus. Mater non te, sed me interrogat. Ah, right, let's pause there and let's have a read. Ah, right, clue in the margin on the right hand side we have. Cur Julius non venit. So I guess we know is uh, why. Why Julius non venit. And we know when it from before is when uh, Amelia entered. So why did Julius not come is the question being answered here, uh, asked here in the, is a clue, I guess, in the, in the margin. At the top, though, we have Quintus saying, Julia puella proba est. So Quintus, who is the big brother, is kind of like standing up for her. So Julia is... A good girl, because we saw probus, proba, and uh, different endings there. Uh, yep, that's right. Probus, proba, and probum. And I guess puella is feminine, so proba. So it's, so Yuli is a good girl. Emilia quintum interrogat. So Amelia is going to ask a question again of Quintus. And uh, she says, ubi est Julius? So where is Julius, the father? And she goes, cur non venit? Why did he not come? Uh, and then Amelia, Julia, non with it. So Amelia does not see Julius. Uh, and that makes sense based on the line of questioning that she's asking. Marcus is going to respond. So respondet Marcus, pater dormit. Now, uh, the clue that you can just see at the bottom of the image there, we can see the, the, what appears to be Julius sleeping and the written text, Julius dormit. So Julius is sleeping. So we just said father is sleeping up here. Okay. Quintus is going to uh, respond with mater non te sed me intergat. Quintus is going to respond with mother um, not mother not not mater not you. I can't remember. I've got to remind myself. But Asked me. Oh, yeah, okay. So if we see here that uh, Emilia uh, asked a question of Quintus, but Marcus has responded, Pater dormit. So Quintus is like, hang on a minute, mum asked me, not you. So Martha uh, asked me, so Master did not ask you a question, but me, is essentially how we would read that in English. So mother asked, Mother did not ask you a question, but me. Amelia is going to throw on with st pueri ubi est pater. So st, again, that that noise that I guess more of a, a lower level disgruntledness under fu. <laughs> She's guessed maybe it's like stop. So pss, boys, uh, where is father? 
So let's see uh, where we get up to their pronunciations. Aemilia. St pueri. Obiest pater. Quintus. Pater non ikest. Sed Marcus ikest. Quintus Julium vocat. Pater. Pater. All right, so Quintus is going to say, Parto non hic est, sed Marcus hic est. So Quintus is going to say, Father is not here, but Marcus is here. I'd like to say hic is here. That's what I'd like to say. Clear on the right-hand side is Quintus Julian Wokat. So Quintus is calling for Julius now, pater. Yes, there we go. And we can see that Julius is asleep. And then finishing off, we have Quintus Julian Wokat, pater, pater. Yep, so Quintus is calling for... For Julius, okay, making progress. Let's uh, let's see what's going on next. Julius quintum non audit neque venit. Cur Julius quintum non audit. Julius seum non audit qui adormit. Marcus, ha ha, pater dormit neque te audit. Aemilia, fu puer. I miliratast. Okay, let's pause there so we don't run out of screen. So the clue on the right hand side here is we have ni and que, which is equal to et non. So we know that, that que ending, we've used that before, which is essentially a way of adding and onto a line of nouns, essentially. And in this case here, ne is uh is essentially a no or not, so and not. So an any with words after it is equal to non. Interesting. And then other clues, eum, which is quintum. Now this is like the eum before. So where eum is like she, eum would be most like he, and that makes sense for quintum here, so an activity being performed on quintus. And then I guess we know that julius is dormit, which is currently asleep. So, the first couple of lines here after the sleeping Julius, we have Julius quintum non audit ni que venit. All right, so uh, an action being performed on Quintus. So, Julius did not audit quintum uh, and not when it. And when it, we know is to come. So, uh, Julius. Now, Aldit looks like audio. So noting that Quintus is calling for his father, is it potential that, and it's non, so he didn't hear him. So maybe it's here. Quintus did not hear, sorry, Julius did not hear Quintus and did not come, which makes sense. If he didn't hear him, then he's not going to come into the room. And then we have Cur Julius Quintum non Aldit. And we know cur is why. So why did Julius not hear Quintus? Okay. Julius eom non audit quia. There's that because quia dormit. Julius did not hear him. And the activity being performed on him there. Quia dormit because he is sleeping. Okay. Marcus is going to respond with hi. Pater dormit neque te audit. So ha, pater uh, did not hear you. I it tears you. Uh, and is sleeping. So pater is sleeping and did not hear you. Good. Okay. Amelia is going to respond with fu puer. So uh, like ah, disgruntled, you know, boy. Amelia errata est. So Amelia is angry now, and she's going to next say, uh, so mater filium we're better at. Tux, 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 tux. Let's listen to Luke and see what this guy sounds like. Mater filium we're better at. Tux, tux, Ooh, slapping. tux, tux. Sounds like punishment. So <laughs> Amelia is angry, so mater filium we're better at. So mother, the mother, it looks like we're better at, kind of looks like berate, and it certainly sounds like it. So the mother disciplines with striking of filium, uh, which kind of looks uh, is like son. So mater 
uh, berates her son. <laughs> Some slaps or something. Lots of hitting going on <laughs> in this chapter. Oh, boy. Marcus Plorat. Fair enough. Julius Ewaudit. Jan non dormit pater. Ah, now here's a clue on that margin. See, you guys got to remind me about the clues in the margin. We have, we have berat, which is equal to pulsat, hitting, and pulsat. So hit and hit. So lots of hitting, lots of striking, tux, tux. And I guess that's the onomatopoeia <laughs> of we have berat. The onomatopoeia of we have berat is tux, 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 tux. And again, we're re reminded that eom in this next coming lineup here is referring to Marcus. Okay, or an activity being formed of Marcus. So Marcus plorat, Marcus is now clawing. <laughs> And then Julius, again, I guess that wording is the onomatopoeia for, for crying in Latin. <laughs> it's good. Julius iam audit, iam non dormit parter. So Julius does not hear, oh, sorry, Julius does hear him. So Julius hears him. Iam non dormit parter. So uh, no longer is parter, so no longer is the father... The father is no longer asleep. So this iam I'm seeing regularly is like implies there was a case and is now no longer the case. And that's what I'm going to continue to roll with at the moment. So iam non dormit parter. Uh, father is no longer asleep. No longer. Yeah, implying that they were before. Okay. Cool. Let's continue. Sky oh, here we go. We're up to the third scene. Personae. Julius, Aemilia, Julia, Marcus, Quintus, Quintus. Pater venit. Aemilia Quintum non audit, quia Marcus plorat. Julius Quintum videt, eunc interrogat. Cur Marcus plorat, Quintus respondit. Marcus plorat, quia matre umwerberat. Pause there. So, as Skyna Tortia, the third scene, persona, Julius, Aemilia, Julia, Marcus, and et Quintus. So, the people in our scene uh, starts with Quintus, pater venit. So, he says, father enters, or father comes. Uh, clues in the margin, left hand side, we have eum que, which is equal to and eum. So, and him. Uh, in this case, it's responsible. Referring to Quintus or an action being performed on Quintus, and then and then further down we have Eom being referred to as Marcus or an action being performed on Marcus with Marcum. All right, Aemilia Quintum non audit quia Marcus plorat. Julius Quintum videt eamque interrogat and then asks cur Marcus plorat. So Aemilia does not hear Quintus because Marcus is crying. Julius Quintum videt io iumque interrogat. So Julius sees Quintus and questions him and says, Why is Marcus crying? Quintus responded. So Quintus is going to respond with, Marcus plorat quiar mater eum ver berat. So Marcus is crying because mother berated him. <laughs> Carrying on. Julius, sed cur mater Marcum verberat, Quintus. Marcum verberat, quia puerim probus est. Marcus parvam puellam pulsat, Julia. Mamma, pateric est. Aemilia Julium videt. All right, let's pause there. All right, so we have through here. Uh, Quintus responded, Marcus plorat queer materiam verberat. So we said that uh, before that Marcus is crying because mother berated him. Now the clue on the left hand side there, we have Martus Marcum verberat. So uh, mother berated Marcus, or berates Marcus, queer Marcus puer improbus est. And we know that queer is because, so because Marcus is a bad boy, improbus, a bad or uh, naughty, bad or naughty boy, puer being boy. So Julius is going to respond to all that um, after Quintus's response, and Julius is going to say, sed cur mater marcum verberat, so sed is but, 
and he's going to say, but why did mother berate Marcus? And Quintus is going to respond with, Marcum will berat, queer puer improbus est. Marcus param pualam pulsat. So here, Quintus is going to say that Marcus was berated because he is a bad boy. Marcus hit a small girl. And then Julia, uh, the original daughter, is going to respond with, Mama, pater hikest. And so that hit might be, is, is like here. So ma, uh, Mama, father is here. I, Miriam, Julia, we did. So I guess Amelia sees Julius. All right, let's carry on with Luke. I, Emilia, tuus Marcus filius improbus est. Julius, fu puer, puer probus nun pulsat puellam, puer qui parvam puellam pulsat improbus est. I love it. I love the sound of this language. It's fantastic, isn't it? So Amelia is going to say, tuus Marcus filius improbus est. Uh, tuus Marcus filius improbus est. So... Um, Marcus is a naughty son, so tuus might be, uh, I'd like to say, sh Amelia is responding to, uh, she's making a statement here. I don't think she's necessarily responding to someone, but this, the, the tuus has confused me. So we have tear before meaning you, I'd like to say your. Uh, I'd like to say that, that your Marcus is a naughty son. And let's see what Julius responds. Uh, you, uh, Julius says, Fu, puer, puer probros non pulsat puellam, puer qui parum puellam pulsat improbus est. So, fu, boy. Uh, good boys do not hit girls. And I guess we see that activity occurring to the word girl here with the M statement. Uh, qui, and uh, that might be, was that like who? So, a boy who hits small girls is naughty, is a naughty. So maybe that is who. So I think qui is who here. So, ah, boy. Um, good boys do not hit girls. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, boys, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm allergic to all this violence. <laughs> So boy, uh, good boys do not hit girls. A boy who hits small girls is a naughty. Is naughty um, is what's being said here. Julius iratus purim probum verberat. Tux tax, tux tax, tux tax. Oh boy! So Julius iratus puerum improbum verberat. So Julius is angry and berates. The naughty boy, and I guess the activity again being per performed on Puer here. And again, the onomatopoeia for striking. Now, Julia non later est. We see that again. So, uh, Julia is not, I guess we said happy or joyful before. So, let's continue on, finish this bit off. Marcus plorat. Quintus laetus est. It read it. Julia laeta non est. Neque read it. Cur non laetast, Julia? Non laetast, quia Marcus plorat. Julia est puella proba. Oh, nearly going to sneeze again. Right, let's go back just a little bit so we can finish off that section. So, Marcus plorat. Marcus is now crying. Quintus laetus est et read it. Quintus is happy and is laughing. Julia later non est neque read it. So Julia is happy. Julia is not happy uh, and not laughing. So why is Julia not happy? So cur non later est Julia. And then we have non later est queer Marcus Plorat. Julia est buella proba. So. Uh, not, uh, not happy because Marcus is crying. Oh yeah, because Marcus, uh, she's not happy because Marcus is crying. Julia is a good girl. So maybe she's, she's not laughing at that because she's a good girl. You know, punishment's not something to laugh at. 
Maybe that's it. Here we go. La prova. Let's go to the last bit. Puerdidit. Puella plorat. Quis est puer qui ridet. Puer qui ridet est Marcus. Quae est puella quae plorat? Puella quae plorat est Julia. Let's go through those lines. So the, in the margin we have qui, which is like who. Que, which is like a feminine and also like a feminine who. And we have puer qui ridet. Uh, the boy who ridet laughs. And we have puella quae plorat. Uh, the girl who cries, potentially. So we have puer ridet. Uh, the boy laughs. Puella plorat. The girl cries. So this is like a summary, I guess, of the play that we've just seen by the looks of it. Quis est puer qui ridet? Uh, who is the boy? Uh, so quiz is a, we know is a question. So who is the boy who laughed? And then the answer should this should be puer qui ridet et Marcus est Marcus. The boy who laughed is Marcus. That makes that's making sense to me. Quae est puella, quae plorat. And we see the feminine, I guess, who. So, who is the girl who cried? Uh, who cries, rather. So, I don't think uh, we've been introduced to past tense yet. This is more uh, present. So, we have the answer to that is puella, quae plorat, est Julia. So, the girl who is crying is Julia. All right, so this is a bit like a summary of what we've just seen. All right, let's do the next little paragraph. Marcus, qui puellam pulsa, puer improbus est. Puella quam Marcus pulsa est Julia. Julia Emilia mocat. A Emilia, quam Julia mocat, mater liberorums. Liberorum. Make sure I get that right later. Ai milia puerum verberat. Puer quae milia verberat est Marcus. Okay, let's have a look. Margin notes. We have quem, quam, puer quem ai milia verberat, and puella quam Marcus polsat. So we have this action being performed on que and quam. Uh, okay, so, yep, that's fine. Uh, the activity being performed on the who. Puer quem Emilia Weberat. So, uh, the Emilia berated the boy. Who? Interesting. Trying to make sense of this. Ah, the boy was who was berated by Emilia. The boy who was. Struck, disciplined by Amelia. I think that's what's being said there. And then Puella qua Marcus Polsat. The girl who Marcus hit. Who? Yeah, the girl who Marcus hit, where the activity is being performed on the who here. So this is a subject object. So it's a different subject object in this sentence here. So the girl who was hit by Marcus. All right. Good. So back to the main part of the sentence structure here. We have Marcus qui Puella Polsat. Puer improbus est. So Marcus, who hit the girl, is a bad boy. Puella qua Marcus polset est Julia. And that says uh, the girl who Marcus hit is Julia. And that was the clue we were reading about in the margin on the right-hand side. Julia ai miliam wokat. So Julia called Emilia. Yeah, it's like a summary of what we just watched. This is pretty cool. I Emilia quam Julia wokat mater liberorum. <laughs> Did I get it right? <laughs> mater liberorum est. I Emilia pueram verberat. So we're saying here that Emilia, uh, who Julia, uh, who Julia called, is the children's mother. Is the mother of the children? Yep. I Emilia pueram. Puerum berat. So Amelia berated the boy. Puer quem Amelia berat est Marcus. So the boy who berate the boy who was berated by Amelia is Marcus. Okay. Good. Quem vocat Quintus. Quintus Julium vocat. 
Iulius, quen quintus vocat, pater liberorumst. Iulius quintum non audit. Quaudit Iulius? Iulius Marquaudit. Puer quen Iulius audit est Marcus. Puella quae cantat laeta est. Puella quae plorat non est laeta. Puer qui puellam pulsa timbrobus est. Okay, so the clue in the margin of the writing says is quim, uh, quim, julium, uh, and quintum. Okay, so it's referring to some male activities being referenced, pronouns, I guess. So we start off here with quim, vocat quintus. So who called uh, quintus who called, I think is what it's saying. Quintus here. Who the called out was Quintus? Who did Quintus call out? I think is what we're saying here. Yeah. Who did Quintus call out? Quintus Julian Wokat. So that makes sense as a reply when we say that Quintus called Julius. So who did Quintus call out to? Yeah. Whom, whom did Quintus call out to? Quintus called out to Julius. And again, the activity being performed in Julius being called out to. Julius quem Quintus Wokat. Patel liberor mest. So Julius, who Quintus called out to, uh, is the father of the children. Julius Quintum non audit. So Julius did not hear Quintus. And then quem audit Julius. So who did Julius hear? Julius Marcum audit. Julius heard Marcus. And that's what we recall from the story. Puer quem Julius audit est Marcus. The boy who Julius heard is Marcus. So we're just confirming the previous line there. That's good. The boy whom Julius heard is Marcus. Okay. Puella quae cantat laita est. The girl who is singing is happy. Is happy singing. Later we would say it was about like happy or joyful. Puella quae plorat non est later. The girl who is not crying is happy. That makes sense. Puer qui puellam polsat improbus est. The boy who hit the girl is bad or naughty. And that concludes our third chapter, which is uh, Capitulum Tertium. And, uh, wow, there we go. So we have learned so many new words. So let's go over perhaps some of the words that we've learned. We are berat, which is like berate uh, or discipline, multiple strikes, which uh, a single strike or to hit someone is like um, polsat. And that sounds a little bit like, uh, sounds a little bit like hit, doesn't it, when we say polsat. So, uh, yep, polsat. And then we have plorat which sounds very similar. It makes sense that you'd plorat after you're a pulsat. So plorat means to cry. And uh, we have some other words. Cantat, ridet, and laitus, uh, laita or laitum. So we have like laitus, which means to uh, be happy, I guess. And we have ridet, which I think means to like laugh. And uh, cantat, which I think means to sing, because we saw Yulia at the beginning going, uh, la 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 and that was in reference to uh, her line where it said Julia cantat so I think that means to like sing we saw I guess the word was a period, the equivalent Latin words of whom so we saw some activities being referred to or who is this or who is doing that iratus which was another new word for us which I think we worked at pretty quickly to mean angry uh, what else did we see today we saw st and fu you know like uh, words of disgruntlement or anger um Perhaps a lot of Latin drivers, if they had cars back then, or even chariot drivers, perhaps. Uh, those were some of the words we'd see in some road rage, some uh, some chariot rage. <laughs> and, uh, yes, quite an interesting scene that we saw there in uh, three scenes, Skaina Tortia. Uh, we saw a bunch of uh, uh, arguments with the children, and then the uh, parents stepped in to provide some discipline in the Roman ho household. So there we go. That concludes our third chapter and our live session for this evening. A bit of a short one tonight. 
uh, but that's okay. Uh, it'll give us some time to recuperate and study our questions at the end of that chapter. So if you've got a copy of that book, it'll be a good idea. We can do our homework. So when we come back for chapter four, uh, which will be uh, Capitulum Quator, if I've got that right, uh, we will be uh, much better for that and continue to learn our Latin and solidify our new words, uh, vocabula, that we are learning through the course of this book. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, thanks for all the donations uh, that we got at the beginning of the stream again. And I'll see you guys next Monday at the same time, uh, 9.30 a.m. Rome time or 7.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Please give us a like and a follow uh, on our Facebook uh, and our YouTube channel right here if you're watching this on YouTube in the future or if you're here right on Twitch with us, give us a follow. That'd be fantastic. Until next time, well, let's say.